from a Motilal Oswal real estate perspective, it will be good to know what is the key offering to investors. Uh, for example, which are the kind of cities you guys are present in? Which segments do you really uh, look to target, so on and so forth? So at uh, MO Alts, from a real estate practice, uh, we are we we look at investing in top eight cities of India, uh, which are the top eight metro cities of India. Uh, we primarily uh, our forte has been where we have funded developers for land acquisition. Uh, we, uh, we 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 are catering to a segment where banks and other lenders, NBFCs, etc., cannot lend. So we are fulfilling one of the essential need of the developer, where they need money to acquire land. That has been our uh, our main uh, forte, and that is where we have raised various funds under that strategy. Uh, we primarily invest in residential segment. More than 80-85% of our portfolio is concentrated towards residential fo- residential segment, which is more of self-liquidating in nature, and uh, and a bit of commercial also in the uh, in the portfolio. Understood. You would like to add something? Here? Yeah. So uh, what happened was I have seen the platform grow from we, we, we were managing about 150 crores. Today we are managing in excess of 7,000 crores. Right. So that makes us one of the leading. Uh, real estate domestic managers in the country. Uh, so far in the journey, I think we have done more than 190 projects uh, across 150 unique investments. Uh, we have partnered with over 50 developers in the country, right? Um, and whatever we have done, we have exited about 70 odd investments in that, generating an IRR of anywhere between 19 to 21 percent. So, so focusing on the yield play, as Anand just mentioned. Uh, we have been able to showcase repeatedly in a tough cycle that there is enough opportunity where money can be made in real estate. Right. So, I mean, these are staggering numbers, which obviously Thank puts you. the entire team at the top of the charts when it comes to managing real estate-oriented funds in the entire country. So, what is what is that edge that you and your guys really bring on the table? Uh, I think. Uh, there are multiple factors. I'll, I'll touch upon, try and touch upon a few of them. I'm sure Anand will also want to add a few to them. Uh, I think one of the most basic ones uh, is how you go about your entire process of investing. And in that journey, so journey is not only that you have to choose a developer and give him money. The journey only begins there. You have to ensure that through the life cycle of maybe three to five years, the money comes back to you. you know? So the focus has to be right from investment till exit. And in that journey, over a period of these, uh, you know, uh, investments that I've spoke about, we have learned a lot organically as well. So, so we have built an in-house uh, credit team. We, of course, have a direct uh, city-based approach towards investing. So we have our team members who are only focusing on a particular city. So you have that local knowledge. Uh, we have an independent IC, right, before we get into investments. Uh, where, where their guidance also helps us a lot in choosing the right kind of opportunities and what to let go. See, in a, in a business where you are doing credit, it is important to let go the right ones, but not get stuck with the wrong ones, right? So, yes, Nitin, uh, in this entire journey of last 19 years at Moore and the platform, the way we have grown this, uh, we we are very choosy about we, we are very selective about the kind of developers we want to partner with. We have worked with some of the best names in the industry, uh, and uh, and we have not done one or two transactions with them, but done multiple transactions with them. Uh, so we we uh, the the uh, what we want to do or the way we have been doing this is that once we identify a developer, uh, once we we have both are comfortable with the working style of each other. We want to grow this relationship, and we want to continue doing business with them. So we, for with 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 lot of developers who are like uh, leaders in their respective markets, we have done anywhere between four or five transactions to as high as almost twenty or thirty transactions with few of the developers. So the idea here is that identify a partner, uh, back him, and once both of us are comfortable with each other, we want to we want to make make the we want to make grow the relationship really large. So that has been one of our main key uh, uh, working um, uh, method for how we have grown this platform. The other is also that we are also very choosy about you know uh, the kind of product or the kind of development we want to back. So for example, uh, while our majority of the portfolio as I spoke is resi focused, within resi also we want to be focused more around uh, you know the mid income segment where we feel that you know the way the Indian mid income uh, uh, the the segment is. 
that generates the maximum demand so we want to we majority of our projects are focused on catering that mid income segment uh, we are very choosy or very picky about you know about luxury ultra luxury or affordable segment so that has been another you know thing the other thing is also city wise we are also very dynamic uh, we were the first ones maybe or the initial ones to start looking at hyderabad when you know majority of the people were not looking at hyderabad uh earlier our, our portfolio was more skewed towards let us say south which was bangalore chennai and all that uh where you know markets like mumbai and ncr were going through their own challenges we were very light on those markets but yes now we have a well diversified portfolio we were one of the first few funds to enter ahmedabad uh, that uh, that has given us uh, good results and now we are very actively looking at kolkata as a market so so that is another strength what we bring that we are very dynamic we keep on you know adding more cities as and when we feel that this is the right time to you know enter that city when others are not others are others have not entered right one of the key aspects that goes into this entire thing is the exit part of things and exit as both of you know is the ultimate driver behind the final performance for an investor so if you can just guide us in terms of how do you guys plan the entire exit for any projects that you take so uh, so the way anything uh, we work uh, once we have invested uh, then we have the entire team of you know risk credit asset management which is there and and on a regular basis we monitor the portfolio right from you know because we are coming let us say at pre approval stage so where has the approvals uh, uh, whether developer has applied for approvals what are the timelines etc once the project is launched uh we we are the sole signatories to the escrow accounts all the money gets collected in escrow account where we know we take charge we take control and then we allocate it towards the project and towards our, our repayment so we have full control over the cash flows of the project from start till the end and then we also have you know internal auditors and technical consultants who also give us quarterly reports on what is happening in the project in terms of from a financial cash flow perspective from a uh, from a from a work pers- perspective that the, there is a physical progress at the site what is the balance cost of construction etc so all these factors uh, help us in you know uh, keeping a track uh, on the project in terms of you know what is my loan outstanding and what is my balance cash flows is that sufficient to take care of my of my exit part so all this gives me gives us you know the right kind of exit signals uh, premature if there is a if we feel that you know there is some challenges we might face these 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 all this methods what i am talking about gives us you know a signal that you know it's a time to you know press the button and take an exit from the project if possible which has you know let us a lot of exits what we have happened we have it has happened ahead of time uh, because we have felt that this is the right time to exit this this project or this developer uh because we are not comfortable with what at the end of the day yes uh, there is a fixed timeline to when we exit and most of the cases because we have backed the right kind of developers the exit happens through project cash flows right 